you're busy cruising in solid cars spending solid cash if you're on your babe up journey and you don't know nollywood babes my girl i don't know what you're doing like you're you're literally wasting your time seriously seriously where have you been and that's why i'm here so you don't have to worry i am going to explain to you the criteria of becoming a nollywood babe so that you can you know elevate yourself just like me so, so the first and most important criteria is to be beautiful you have to be beautiful to be a nollywood babe i'm sorry you just have to and even if you're not you don't have to worry the next one is to think you're beautiful it's all in the mindset it should be in your mind like you're beautiful no matter what anybody says because confidence actually brings out the beauty of people whether you like it or not and if you don't think you're beautiful please get out shoo shoo get out shoo shoo <laughs> Because I can't help you. If you don't think you're beautiful, you cannot become an Hollywood babe because you don't have the confidence. But if you think you're beautiful and you know you're beautiful, please keep watching because this is very, very important. Now to my next point. Now you have the looks or at least you think you have the looks. The next thing is to, you know, serve that look. Serve it. Like bring it out. Babe it up. Okay? You are becoming an Hollywood babe. People are going to be looking at you. Your looks should be entertaining. They want to look at you and smile. Okay? And of course, I'm not just telling you. I'm going to show you. So now we have to start with the wig. The wig is extremely important. Okay? If you don't have this wig, I don't know what you're doing. Honestly, I, I can't help you. This wig is a CEO magnet. Yes, I'm telling you. It is what? A CEO magnet magnets it's all in the mindset i keep telling you it's all in the mindset you have to understand the concept okay this wig is a game changer honestly if you doubt me ask pascalina good afternoon, good afternoon. please my name is uh, chief albert dandy the ceo of uh, infinity merchant bank please can i meet you oh, my name is uh, pascalina Kwe. pascaline yeah ah what exceptional name for an exceptionally pretty young lady and of course, as a Nollywood babe, you're not supposed to have just one. You're supposed to have more than one because you're playing different parts. You're playing different roles, okay? So I'm going to show you another example of the kinds of wig you should be having, okay? Now, let's take this one out and bring this one in. You see this one? Hey, <laughs> hey! This wig invites people cruising in solid cars spending solid cash cruising around in solid cars spending solid cars hey. Hey. we've gotten the wig part now the next one is the makeup you have to pay attention to this the makeup is extremely important and as a nollywood babe we do not put too much foundation on yeah we are very simple and classy the foundation doesn't have to be too much because we are focused on looking beautiful and of course i'm going to show you because that's what we are here for right so now just a very small size look look how small it is you just cover the little blemish you have you know as a babe your blemish is not that much you just cover the little you have and you see there is no blemish the blemish is all gone that's the point of the makeup now you have to line your eyes yes the nollywood babes of then always line their under eyes it's you know makes their eyes pop i'm done with the lining it's a little bit rough now because i'm kind of you know in a hurry just to show you guys so that i don't waste your time but yeah this is basically how they line their eyes Another thing they do is to use a mascara. They do not fix fake lashes. They are not fake bitches, okay? I'm done with the eyes. Ooh, it's popping. <laughs> yeah, that's the eyes. And now we're going to the lips. The lips. Nollywood babes always use very bold lip liner. So I'm going to use black. And yeah, I'm going to line... Because your lip liner needs to show. <laughs> and then you apply any color of lipstick you want. You can apply either nude, red or anyone. I'll apply nude now because I do not have time. 
Mm -hmm. Then apply a gloss on it to make the look complete. Mm, you see what I did there? Apply a gloss on it to make the look complete. Yes. Okay, I think I applied way too much dark lipstick. Don't make that mistake. The darkness has to not blend. It must not blend. It has to stay in place. But I made mine blend, unfortunately. That's a mistake on my part. Do not copy that. But just make sure you use a very dark lip liner. And make sure it doesn't blend, okay? Yeah, so yeah. We are done with that. And of course, we are not going to forget the brows. You have to use a very dark eyebrow pencil and it has to be just one line, okay? One line. All you need to do is draw one line. The eyebrows are very iconic. You get the vibes. I know you get the vibes. It's all in the mindset, okay? So yeah, we are done with the looks. The next criteria is to understand the concept of living in the money, within the money, and right inside the money. I don't think you understand that. Listen to it again. As in living in the money, within the money, and right inside the money. <laughs> yes. Because you are a babe, you need to understand the concept of being a babe. A babe is catered for. A babe is catered to. What I'm trying to say is you have to look at the way baby girls are taking care of, like two-year-olds, five-year-olds, how their parents take care of them. They buy clothes for them. They always make sure they look good. They always make sure they smell good. They always give them the best. They always make sure they are eating on time. Like They are pampered in most homes. So that's the concept you have to go with. You are a babe. You are a baby girl. So you have to understand the concept of living in the mom. Money. you have to understand that you it's okay for you to be pampered you know some girls are not used to being pampered they're like i'm the independent girl i'm making my own money i don't need your money girl you need your money is money and money and any other person's money as long as you're not hurting anybody or doing anything bad or taking someone's husband or whatever as long as you're not doing any of that enjoy yourself the only difference between you and a baby girl of two years is that you are a nollywood babe okay you're not just a babe you are a nollywood babe you have a mind of your own so you don't get to be controlled like those two years old and five years old because they are still like you know infants baby girls you know they are still little now you are a nollywood babe you're grown okay you have the baby girl vibes but you have a mind of your own so you don't get to be controlled that's the only difference apart from that it's okay you are allowed to be spoiled and pampered live it enjoy it okay there is no need for that strong woman independent woman uh uh don't girl don't do that okay you're already working hard for your money you're already acting so many movies keeping up with yourself that is hard work enough like that is you're already working hard enough it's it's hard to take care of yourself let's be honest it's hard to keep up it's hard to have nice wigs you know nice makeup nice outfit all the time always on your strips always you're already working hard enough it's okay to be spoiled okay there is no need to be that strong independent no no you need to relax okay relax and be taken care of it's all in the mindset are you understanding now keep it in your mind the last but not the least point is to avoid mixing with people that do not contribute to your journey on becoming a nollywood babe yes if any girl boy man or woman that has negative energy towards your level up journey to becoming a nollywood babe if they approach you you just have to politely tell them that they should go play somewhere else you're busy look go play somewhere else i'm busy you're busy doing what living in the money within the money and right inside the money as in living in the money within the money and right inside the money <laughs> yes that's what you're, you're busy doing that you're busy cruising in solid cars spending solid cash cruising around in solid cars spending solid cars hey. you don't have time for negative people okay you don't have time for people who are going to bring you down that's it that girl it's in the mindset are you listening are you jotting things down do not 
disappoint me, okay? And if they persist, if they continuously approach you with their negative energy, all you need to tell them is, I can't see you don't know your class anymore. Come on, get out of here, you stink of poverty. I can see you don't know your class anymore. Will you get out of this place, you stink with poverty? Because they obviously do. Yeah, you don't you don't need all that, okay? So that's it for this video. Don't say I didn't do anything for you. Because I'm helping you now. And nobody should forward this video to my mom. Except you want to have a problem with me. If your auntie is looking for a wig, tell her to come and collect it. It's in my house, okay? Until I come your way next time, I remain your one and only happy Jessie. Remember to keep being the bad girl that you are. Bye. And keep being the bad girl you are.